The gold price dived to its lowest level in over two months on Friday afternoon after a stronger than expected US jobs report applied heavy pressure across the precious metals complex. Spot gold hit a low of 1175 where it remains after the US added 295,000 new jobs in February. The country's unemployment rate also dropped more than expected to 5.5%. The strong report adds fuel to the fire of a near-term interest rate hike at a time where the Fed is already on the verge of raising the rate from near zero. The current market consensus is that rates will rise in mid-2015, although this is a moving target that will be dictated by jobs and inflation data over the coming months. Any move towards higher interest rates will push investors away from gold and into more yield-bearing assets such as bonds. The dollar, both as a result and after making significant gains throughout this week, has broken through the 110 barrier against the euro and is now down to 11-year highs at 108, and the higher dollar is likely to maintain downside pressure on gold in the post-weekend sessions. Yesterday, European Central Bank President Mario Draghi detailed the new 60 billion euro per month stimulus package that will start on March 9th. Although, Drahi suggested that the ECB will only buy bonds that yields are not below the bank's deposit rate of negative 0.2%. The drop below the previous breakout point will be significant moving forward at a time where physical buying was initially expected to fade in China. The country's sensitivity to cheaper prices will be key when the Shanghai Gold Exchange opens back up on Monday to buoy prices back up towards the key psychological level of $1,200 per ounce. In other news this week, buying in India remains fairly stagnant according to sources at a time when many thought stockists would rush to buy following news that India will not change its import duties on gold. In other metals, silver followed gold lower and dropped below $16 per ounce. It was lasting around $15.80 per ounce. In the PGMs, platinum dropped dramatically once again and is now hovering just above six-year lows at $1,160 per ounce, while palladium is trading around $820 per ounce. This is Ian Walker reporting for The Bullion Desk down here at the London Metal Exchange.